I knew that I liked math and I wanted to change the world and uh, do good things for society. And then I discovered that um, there was a thing called the Faculty of Statistical, Demographic and Actuarial Sciences that did a major in economics. And so I realized that I could do economics, which I thought was the way to change the world, and um, lots of math, which was something I, I um, enjoyed. It turns out that uh, economics is probably uh, more modestly a way to understand the world, and it doesn't necessarily tell you how to change it. But still, if you don't understand, you can't even try. My specific research at the moment has to do with uh, network and how information is transmitted through networks. So these are uh, uh, actors, players, whatever you want to call them, arranged on a network, on nodes, connected by uh, various means. And then you study uh, how uh, information flows uh, uh, according to various different assumptions that you may make uh, through this network. And uh, um, the main upshot at the moment seems to be that uh, these things uh, make herds are forming very lightly. Herds as in everybody uh, believing uh, the same thing or seeing the same thing uh, uh, or seeing the same message, even though the message may not be a good one or even a truthful one. PhD students are special because they are the, the lifeblood of, uh, of every good uh, academic uh, department, institution. Uh, you're forming the next generation of uh, of academics, and that's that's absolutely that's absolutely crucial. And there was a PhD student who eventually graduated and did very well. So sort of wrote down uh, and essentially one of the basic epidemiological models, the ones that you would write down now to understand uh, the current uh, pandemic. Um, and then this was about uh, uh, sort of abusing the, or overusing. Uh, antibiotics and, and hence creating uh, uh, antibiotic resistant um, uh, germs. And, but, but it was about the economic side of it. So it was a very interesting coupling of economics uh, models with the basic uh, epidemiological model. And I think, um, I, th I like to think that the student benefit from my advice, but I certainly learned a lot in, during that uh, project because I learned the bare bones of a, one of the basic epidemiological models. PhD takes a long time. Um, it's hard and it's lonely. That said, it's also extremely rewarding. I mean, you end up uh, being somebody who uh, uh, uses their intellect and uh, uh, apply to things that you know really well and that you like uh, for a living. And that's, I think, uh, a great privilege uh, in, uh, in life. Um, advice for PhD students, uh, two things. One, value your uh, classmates their advice uh, um, in all kinds of shapes and forms uh, is extremely valuable. The people in your cohort, people who are ahead of you. And second, remember that uh, as a PhD student, you really are part of the department. Make full use of the fact that faculty are there and they will look after you, they will advise you, they will get into the nitty gritty of your work if you ask them. Our PhD program is very strong in all the sort of the main pillars, I would say, uh, macroeconomics, microeconomics, and econometrics. Uh, but it's also uh, very good in uh, uh, development economics and in international economics. So we are, I think the main feel is that we are, of course, very good. Uh, but one, one of the things that probably we do better, even the programs that are better than us, is to give you this feel that we are constantly growing and striving for, for uh, being even better than we are. As chair of the economics uh, department, I mean, a good position to sort of state loud and clear that our PhD program is one of our highest priorities and that we are determined, it's, it's a very good one, we're determined to make it even better. And I, as chair, I'm determined to uh, 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 gather all the possible resources uh, to be devoted to the PhD program.